Awaken Church, beginning January 26th to February 9th, we are doing 14 days of prayer and fasting. And our hope is that this becomes an annual practice. Guys, everything in the kingdom is practiced. Like if you want to see love, you got to practice love. You want to see hope, you've got to practice hope. And so we believe in that statement that everything in the kingdom is practiced. And this is an opportunity for us to see his kingdom come and his will be done in our lives in 2021. And so I want to read real quick out of Philippians 4, verses 6. And this is going to kind of be the premise of why we're fasting, of, of even what fasting does for us and through us. And it says this, don't be pulled in different directions or worried about a thing. And I think there's a lot of us that are worrying about a lot of things in our world today, concerned about this movement or, you know, this belief system or this party or, you know what I mean, this culture. And it says, don't be pulled in different directions. Be saturated in prayer throughout each day, offering your faith-filled requests before God with overflowing gratitude. I love this part. It says, tell him every detail of your life. Be open, be honest, be vulnerable. Then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you through Jesus Christ. And so it says in verses eight, so keep your thoughts fixed, continually fixed on all that is authentic, real, honorable, admirable, beautiful, respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind. And then he reminds us again, Paul does, and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God. That's essentially what fasting is. And so we want to invite you on this journey. And let me give you an example because I know there's a lot of people who are like, well, it's kind of a scary thing, right? Isn't that where you don't eat for a long period of time? Well, there are many things that we can fast. There, it's not just food. It's, it could be something else. And I know that all of us are in different places, diets and seasons of our life where certain foods we need to be eating. And so on our um, prayer and fasting page, which will be found at, at awakennampa.com. There'll be a little bit of uh, instruction and schedule of what we're going to be doing together. Um, but I, I want to challenge you. This is essentially what fasting is. Fasting is withstanding from something to gain more of something else. It's really an act of love. Like when Brooke and I got married, which will be 19 years ago this summer, which is crazy to think about, we gave up things to be one, right? I, I think of the, the example of if you've ever lived near the expressway or the freeway, as we call it here in Idaho. And if you've ever lived near there, there's a ton of traffic noise. If you've ever lived near an airport, there's a ton of traffic noise. And sometimes it's hard to hear all of what creation or nature is even saying in those moments. But if you were to get out into the middle of nowhere, some secluded area, forest, up in the mountains, if you go out to Jump Creek, for example, man, you can hear things you've never heard before. It's so quiet. Every bird sound, every, you know, the waterfall, every, um, the breeze that hits every leaf, you can hear it because you're out there. But prior to that, all you heard was traffic noise. It's the same thing with city lights. As soon as you get outside of the city and you're out kind of in the middle of nowhere and you look up, you can see all of the stars that have been placed above you, right? That's the same with fasting. We're choosing to give up something so that we can hear God more, so that we can know Him more, know His heart, know His love. It, it, it expands our understanding. It grows our ability to hear from the Lord. And that's really what it is. We're willing to give up inferior things for superior things. And it's not just, hey, we're gonna fast from this, let's say from this suite or from this element or from this food or from entertainment because we're gonna have a schedule of different things that we can fast. And you get to choose in those 14 days what you're going to fast. But then you would be intentional with filling it up with prayer and worship and praise, foc focusing and fastening your thoughts on every glorious work of the Father. And so let's just say like one of, the, one of the days we give up a lunch and during your lunch period, instead of like you would normally do, eat and sit with friends, maybe you go on a walk with your headphones in your ear and you just begin to declare how good God is. 
thanking him for different things in your life, thanking him for people who are in your life, the church that you are a part of. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what we would do when we begin this process of fasting. And so if you have other questions, you have other concerns, don't hesitate to email us or to call the church office. And we'd love to answer questions about this in its most simplest form. We are simply withstanding from something in order to focus our attention and efforts towards God. We're just saying, God, we, we want to be close. We want to hear you. And I want to challenge you to partner with us in that um, because we're going to see the miraculous. Fire always falls on sacrifice. And we're just, we're choosing to sacrifice some things so that we can gain God's kingdom things, right? And so I look forward to doing this with you. And on the last day, February 9th, Tuesday night, we're gonna be gathering in the auditorium and we're gonna break the fast with worship. We're gonna have uh, an hour of just live worship and prayer and celebrate God and it's just gonna be an incredible evening. And so I charge you, I challenge you to partner with us as we experience God in a new, fresh way. Like that's our heart, our heart behind fasting and praying in this next season. We love you, Awaken Church. My wife, pray for you constantly. Um, and we believe God's best over your life. Partner with us, let's practice getting closer to the Lord through this act of fasting. Make it a great week. Make it a great 14 days when we begin January 26th.